seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the Star Council Awards 2021 brought to you by NALC and BHIB Councils Insurance. These awards are now in their sixth year and celebrate the fantastic achievements, hard work and community service of those in the local council sector. In this unprecedented year, special emphasis was placed on how nominees help their communities overcome the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, and the record number of entries we received demonstrated just how much you all did. In fact, the judges were greatly impressed with all the entries, not just the finalists, and wanted to take this moment to congratulate each and every local council, councillor, county association and clerk for all the work they have done over the last year. They were also keen to point out the amount of good practice, energy and willingness to adapt shown in all the entries. Today we're going to concentrate on the outstanding work of the finalists and the fantastic achievements of each of the winners in each category. And the five categories are Clerk of the Year, sponsored by Vision ICT. County Association Project of the Year, sponsored by CCLA. Young Councillor of the Year, sponsored by DCK Accounting Solutions. Councillor of the Year, sponsored by Breakthrough Communications. Council of the Year, sponsored by Blashier Illumination. But before we get to that, let me introduce Councillor Sue Baxter, Sue has been Chair of NALC for the last four years, is a senior member of Worcestershire Association and Chair of Withal Parish Council. She is also a member of neighbouring Alf Church Parish Council. Sue encourages continuous improvement in local councils and has been a champion for diversity in the sector. This is Sue's final year as NALC Chair, so we are delighted she's able to say a few words today. Over to you, Sue. Thanks for the great introduction, Alice, and welcome everyone to the NALC Star Council Award 2021 online award ceremony. As you know, due to COVID-19, we weren't able to deliver the awards last year. So thanks for bearing with us and please enjoy this year's online ceremony. The focus of the awards this year has been the positive difference that the nominees made to their communities at the height of the pandemic. We had a record number of nominations this year across all categories, showing the excellent work that you did at this time and also, also indicating that you are doing more than ever to make life better for your communities. I know that the judging panel had a difficult time when they met in July and have said how hugely impressed they were by the quantity and sheer quality of the nominations and that made it that much harder for the panel to draw down the number of finalists to 26. So I'd really like to thank the judges for their hard work and the overall award sponsors BHIB Council Insurance and category sponsors for their brilliant support. Now, back to Alice and please enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Many thanks, Sue, for those inspirational words. 
It is my enormous pleasure to invite Ashwin Mystery OBE, Executive Chairman at BHIB Insurance Brokers and BHIB Councils, the overall sponsor of these awards, to say a few words. Thank you very much for that introduction, Alice. As you can see, I'm in some wonderful grounds and I was hoping that I'd get a call from Boris in the recent reshuffle uh, and get offered a place on his cabinet, but unfortunately not, so I'm going to have to persevere for another few years. Um, obviously, I'm taping this message online as we're unable to meet face to face to celebrate with you the Star Council Awards. It's been a fantastic opportunity over the last few years for BHIB to partner with MALC and I'm really pleased to announce today that we've extended our relationship with MALC for a further three years and we continue to remain as principal sponsors for the Star Council Awards. The work that you as councillors have done uh, with your colleagues and especially the board of MALC, Jonathan, Sue, you've done a fantastic job. I know how tough it has been for us, so I'm sure it's been doubly tough for all of you. I take this opportunity of wishing all the entrants, the finalists in the Star Council Awards, the very best of luck and I look forward to catching up with you face to face in the not too distant future. Have a great celebration, congratulations to all the finalists and well done to all the winners. Thank you very much. A huge thanks to Ashwin and the team. And finally, let me hand you over to someone who we can probably claim is the most famous person in the local council sector at this present time, Chief Officer of the Cheshire Association of Local Councils, Jackie Weaver. Thank you for that really great introduction, Alice. We have all had a crazy year and I am absolutely delighted to be asked to say a few words at this ceremony. Those of you who know me know that I have been involved in the local government sector for over 25 years and I know the important work that local councils do. But I think the pandemic has done more to show how much local councils are needed and valued in their communities and how they have actually changed people's lives. This year, the awards have attracted the largest number of nominations ever. And I think that speaks to the ongoing relevance of the awards and the number of really great stories we have to tell in the sector. Great opportunity to be able to share those. And I think it's a great opportunity as well to promote the idea that it is essential that we have diverse people involved in local councils. Only that way can we be truly representative of the sector. So, whenever your elections are due, please have a look at the NALC Make a Change campaign. You know where to find it on the website. And finally, all I need to do now is wish all the finalists the very best of luck. Many thanks to Jackie for bringing our introductions to a close. Let's kick off our awards with our first category, Clerk of the Year, sponsored by Vision ICT. Clerks are the chief officers of local councils and are instrumental in coordinating and helping deliver the work of their councils. However, their work is often unsung. This year, the judging panel were looking for evidence of leadership and direction, managing relationships, innovation and pushing boundaries. The five finalists in this category are Samantha Hughes, Camborne Town Council, Cornwall. Samantha took over as the interim town clerk and was instrumental in steering the town council through the pandemic, including overseeing structural staffing changes, legal battles over estate development, devolution, a governance review and corporate planning. Adam Keppel Green, Knotsford Town Council, Cheshire. During the pandemic, Adam worked with We Are Knotsford to develop the KnotsfordHighStreet.com shopping platform to support residents. He also instigated the Knotsford Shopping Voucher Scheme, which kept local businesses up and running. In addition, he successfully transitioned many of Knotsford's regular face-to-face -face events to online experiences. Ian Lynch, Farnham Town Council, Surrey. Ian engineered the services of a local taxi firm to work with the council during lockdown. He also secured an innovative payment system with a care company to help self-isolating residents shop during the pandemic. In addition, he set up an assessment centre at the local hospital, a hardship fund and recruited volunteers to support the vaccination rollout. Chris Shaw, 
Northwich Town Council Cheshire. From the outset, Chris carefully navigated the council through the pandemic, which meant that most of the council's businesses has remained on track. He has coached councillors on how to use Zoom for meetings, secured funding for town improvements, and continues to play a leading role in the town's recovery. Aniko Search, great chart with Singleton Parish Council, Kent. Aniko organised a team of volunteers, arranged funding and established weekly shopping and prescription collections for up to 50 of the more vulnerable members of Singleton. She also led a challenge on the council's decision to go back to face-to-face -face meetings, as many of the councillors were in the high-risk age group for COVID-19. Now I'd like to invite Daniel Hillier from the category sponsor Vision ICT to say a few words and announce the winner. Thank you, Alice. I'm Daniel Hillier from Vision ICT, a website development agency that specialises in working in the town and parish council sector. Over the last 21 years, I've been lucky enough to build a client base of over 750 town and parish councils. And that's why we are very much aware of the hard work and the importance of um, councils within England and generally believe they deserve all the recognition they should get, specifically the role of clerks because we know a lot of you are working part-time, generally doing extra hours, especially over the last um, period, period of time with Covid and the death of the senior royals and it's been an absolute pleasure to help you where possible. So coming down to the key reason everyone is here, um, Again, we're delighted to be sponsoring the Clerk of the Year and just want to wish all the finalists um, all the best. And the winner of the Clerk of the Year is Adam Keppel Green. Thank you, Daniel, and many congratulations, Adam. What an achievement. Our next category is County Association Project of the Year, sponsored by CCLA. England's 43 county associations of local councils are a vital bridge between local councils and NALC and they work tirelessly to advise and guide their member councils. Their work is relentless and crucial to the work that NALC does. This year, the judging panel was looking for evidence of project delivery, innovation, wider benefit, value for money and high standards. However, it was the 43 county associations themselves who voted to find our winner. The five finalists in this category are Cheshire Association of Local Councils. The association successfully bid for a COVID-19 response and recovery grant from one of its principal authorities. This partly funded the filming of three short videos which showed examples of local councils taking the initiative. Each film consisted of short interviews highlighting the actions taken by the council to engage local volunteers. All three films can be seen on the County Association's website and demonstrate a distinct difference of approach in three rural areas. Essex Association of Local Councils. In response to COVID-19, an emergency food bank fund was created with combined finance from crowdfunding donations and Essex County Council. It was available for any organisation providing food support, including member councils, and in total the association administered £40,000. Leicestershire and Rutland Association of Local Councils like many county associations, Leicestershire and Rutland reacted quickly to the outbreak of the pandemic and the first lockdown. It soon realised some of its councils were experiencing revenue losses and others didn't have appropriate levels of reserves. Therefore, it set out to find funding to help its councils, eventually securing £55,000. Norfolk Association of Local Councils the association set up a wellbeing initiative which seeks, amongst other things, for the totality of Norfolk Parish net emissions to reach net zero by 2045. The benefits of the project were that it raised the profile of the association, gave it improved data on its councils and other contracts, and gave the councils access to quality information and enabled them to talk directly to experts. Yorkshire Local Councils Associations the Yorkshire Local Councils Associations decided to nominate its recent remote conference for member councils. This was a two-day event in April this year. 
Both days provided members with an opportunity to choose from 43 training sessions on a wide range of topical issues. Members were also able to attend sessions presented by the nine external exhibitors. The two days were intense but ran to plan and met the needs of so many members, their counsellors and clerks. The sponsor for this category is CCLA and I'd like to invite Kelly Watson, Relationship Manager from Local Government, to say a few words and announce the winner of this coveted award. Many thanks Alice for that introduction. CCLA has been working with local councils and the wider public sector for a very long time. CCLA is a responsible investment manager and responsible investing is at the heart of everything we do. We pride ourselves on understanding the needs and challenges faced by our clients. And I think it's fair to say that local government and in particular local councils have faced some very difficult challenges in recent times. We recognise the incredibly important work being done by county associations right across the country. And that is part of the reason why we are so pleased to be sponsoring this category. We want to say a huge thank you to NAUC for putting on these awards and we want to wish the very best of luck to all of the finalists. Now, I have in my hands a, the golden envelope and I am very pleased to announce that the winner in the County Association Project of the Year category is Yorkshire Local Councils Association. Huge congratulations, well done. A big well done to everyone at Yorkshire Local Councils Associations. Our next category is Young Councillor of the Year, sponsored by DCK Accounting Solutions. England's young councillors undertake an important and valuable role in their communities and are growing in number. They are often studying or have just started work, so must juggle the work of a local councillor alongside other commitments. They work tirelessly and are often excellent innovators. This year, the judging panel was looking for evidence of managing relationships, service improvement and pushing boundaries. The judges were so impressed with the entries in this category that they couldn't narrow it down to five finalists, so instead we have six to consider this year. The finalists are Councillor Michaela Biscombe, Kippax Parish Council, Yorkshire. Councillor Biscombe was co-opted onto Kippax Parish Council where she stepped into the role of Vice Chair of the Council and Chair of the Youth and Leisure Committee, redeveloping its digital platforms. In addition, she took on the role of Acting Clerk, which required many skills, including operating a local food bank, which had a significant impact on the community during the pandemic. Councillor Ryan Fisher, North Thorsby, Grainsby and Waith Parish Council, Lincolnshire. Councillor Fisher joined the Parish Council in 2020 and made an immediate impact by designing a logo the council had long needed. He used his skills to engage with the community in new ways. He started helping with the Facebook page and engaged with residents on a local community group by providing help and advice such as links to Fix My Street. Councillor Chelsea Jay, Witham Town Council, Essex. Councillor Jay won a seat on her town council in Witham on her first run in an election. She has been involved in several projects to improve services for the community and is part of the Witham Town Council Social Isolation, Community and Youth Groups. Councillor Jay called on the council to represent its LGBTQ plus residents by actively celebrating Pride in 2020, where celebrations included replacing the council flag with an LGBTQ plus flag for the entirety of the month. Councillor Grant Johnson, Poulton Parish Council, Avon. During the pandemic, Councillor Johnson initiated a drive to get IT equipment to families in need for homeschooling by using donations of unused laptops reset by volunteers. He was also fundamental in setting up the local food pantry, which other villages in the local area have since adopted. Councillor Nathan Pardo, Winsford Town Council, Cheshire. During the pandemic, Councillor Pardo supported staff and an elderly mayor to use technology to ensure an uninterrupted meeting schedule. He also ensured the website was kept up to date so residents were well informed. 
Despite the difficulties brought by the pandemic, he volunteered to become deputy mayor. And within weeks, the mayor became ill and Councillor Pardo, without hesitation, stepped up to become acting mayor. Councillor Samantha Sharp, Witten on the Hill Parish Council, Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. Councillor Sharp has spearheaded a project to control vehicle speeds on the parish's local estates. As a key member of the Witten on the Hill community activity team, she has worked with others to create and run local events throughout lockdown to prevent isolation and encourage connection and support. Now, I'd like to invite Derek Kemp, Managing Director from Category Sponsor, DCK Accounting Solutions, to say a few words and announce the winner. Thank you, Alice, and good afternoon, everybody. 2021 marks a very special year in both my dealings with local councils and also the companies. I first became involved over 25 years ago, helping all sizes of councils with their accounting and financial issues. And again, the company has been doing the same for 21 years now. We are delighted to again be sponsors of the Young Councillor of the Ward, uh, of the Year Award. Young councillors are vital to the continued success and effect we have on our electorate, as the old guard can't keep going forever and we need to constantly renew our councillor base. I would like to extend my congratulations to all the nominees in all the awards, but particularly the nominees in the Young Councillor of the Year category. I am pleased to announce that the Young Councillor of the Year for 2021 is Councillor Michaela Biscom of Kipak Parish Council. Very well done, Michaela. What an achievement. Moving on to our next category, Councillor of the Year, sponsored by Breakthrough Communications. England's 100,000 local councillors provide a crucial role for their local communities and their role is often unheralded. Usually working full time with families, they make a huge difference in trying circumstances. This year, the judging panel was looking for evidence of service improvement, community representation, overcoming challenges and pushing boundaries. The five finalists in this category are Councillor Fiona Annabel, Wynyard Parish Council, Cleveland. Councillor Annabel established a local network which she branded Helping Hands. She designed a leaflet to recruit volunteers and commandeered over 100 helpers, assisting those in need with shopping, collecting prescriptions, gardening and dog walking, all of which she coordinated. Councillor Joanne Burke, Prescott Town Council, Merseyside. Councillor Burke has continuously strived to develop Prescott Town Council's offer for residents. One of her most successful initiatives is the School Uniform Recycling Programme. This project has seen 551 families supported with over 4,300 individual garments, saving more than a ton of material going to landfill. She combined this project with sports nutrition and play activity sessions, which were adapted successfully for COVID-19 with record numbers of families engaging. Councillor Claire Gamble, Billingham Town Council, Cleveland. In 2019, Councillor Gamble project managed a community lunch service from the Town Council's cafe, providing a free three-course Sunday lunch for those in need. She identified different funding streams to support the project, the output of which was that residents built new friendships, reconnected with people and discovered shared interests. But when the service was cancelled because of the pandemic, she relaunched it as a delivery service. Councillor Richard Plowman, Chichester City Council, West Sussex. Councillor Plowman has shown exemplary civic leadership during his second term as mayor. The diverse nature of his community meant that in some areas, welfare links had to be strengthened. 
He was successful in bringing together churches, voluntary organisations and developing enduring working relationships. He was also heavily involved in the rollout of the local vaccination centre campaign. Councillor Matthew Walsh, Prince's Risborough Town Council, Buckinghamshire and Milton Keynes. When the pandemic hit, Councillor Walsh's primary consideration was the welfare of the elderly and vulnerable residents and local independent businesses. In response, he launched Risborough Basket, an online platform which allowed residents in over 5,000 households to telephone local shops, buy goods and have them delivered the same day free of charge. The sponsor for this award is Breakthrough Communications and director Daniel Purchase is here to say a few words and to announce the winner. Over to you, Daniel. Thank you, Alice, for that really kind introduction. Hi, everybody. My name is Daniel. I'm co-director here at Breakthrough Communications. Breakthrough Communications is passionate about helping parish and town councils communicate even more effectively with their communities. We provide advice, support, done for you services, covering all aspects of council communications, data protection and freedom of information. We also partner with many county associations right across the country to provide training and of course, we are delighted to be NALC's national partner for communications and data protection, advice and support for parish and town councils. Our team have decades of combined experience, not just as communications professionals, but our team between us have also been clerks and councillors too. We really understand the sector. We also understand the great work that parish and town councils do in affecting positive change in their communities and the incredible work that councillors do as part of that. That's why we had no hesitation and we're delighted to be able to be this year's category sponsor for Councillor of the Year. And with that in mind, I'm delighted uh, to read out the winner. So it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner in Councillor of the Year category is Councillor Matthew Walsh from Prince's Risborough Town Council. A very well done, Matthew. And now we come to the finale of our awards, the prestigious Council of the Year, sponsored by Blashier Illumination. England's 10,000 local councils are the closest tier of local government to their communities in the country and the most democratic. Some 6,000 of them have annual budgets of less than £25,000 a year and 72 have budgets of over a million and the rest are in between. Local councils give their communities a much needed voice. They deliver crucial services from managing cemeteries to green spaces and during the pandemic have run food banks and a variety of outreach services for their residents. This year, the judging panel was looking for evidence of managing relationships, effective service delivery, community communication and pushing boundaries. They whittled the total entries down to five, but it was the public who voted in our winner. The five finalists in this category are Farnham Town Council, Surrey. During the pandemic, the Town Council coordinated 500 volunteers supporting over 1,800 people. The objective was to create sustainable support and it has since evolved into the Farnham Neighbours Network. Alongside this, the Farnham Coronavirus Support Fund was established, raising £67,000 to support residents facing pandemic hardship. The Town Council staff also built a temporary COVID-19 assessment centre to help with COVID patients and the vaccine rollout. Great Dorley Town Council Shropshire the local council adopted and expanded its Great Dorley Breakfast Club service, offering free weekly breakfast parcels to all local families with children on free school meals. Resources and activity packs were sent to children registered with the club to ensure that they could participate. In addition, all summer holiday activities moved online. Lou Town Council, Cornwall. Lou Town Council rose to the challenge of the pandemic and organised a network of over 190 volunteers working with key organisations within the town to support those in need. 
This extended well beyond its parish boundaries and supported families and individuals in neighbouring smaller parishes too. Newbury Town Council, Berkshire. During the pandemic, the council collaborated with the principal authority, business organisations, the police and the management of the shopping centre. Officers met regularly to support the town centre through the pandemic and have since established a working group to continue planning for the future. Tolerton Parish Council, Nottinghamshire. Through the pandemic, the council worked with its principal authorities to ensure protection for residents who had been affected by heavy flooding during the winter. It also engaged with local partners and the police to ensure that the value of the local park as an outside release for families was prioritised. Here to tell us who the winner is, Catherine Owen, External Affairs Officer from Blashier Illumination. Thanks Alice. Yes, Blashier Illuminations have been working in partnership with NALC for at least 20 years now. It's a long-standing relationship that we're really proud of. Hopefully your members will know that Blash Air Illuminations are here to help them with all their festive lighting requirements. This year we also launched a summer range and that was due to feedback from councillors and clerks. There's something for everyone, there's no such thing as too small a budget. We can work with every council no matter what size or preset. Why did Blash Air sponsor the Council of the Year award you may ask? To us, as many of NALC's members are already our customers, it's an easy way to just say thank you for everything that they do. We really do appreciate all that you do for your communities and we can truly understand that these last 12 months haven't been the easiest for all of you. So thank you to every single one of you for everything you do within your communities. Now, before I open the special golden envelope, I think we should also congratulate previous year winners and more importantly, wish all this year's nominees the best of luck. So good luck everyone, fingers crossed. Moment of truth. And the winner of the Council of the Year 2021 is Farnham Town Council. Well done you. Congratulations to everyone at Farnham Town Council. Our judges were very impressed by the excellent work you've done. So let's hear now from the town's mayor, Councillor Alan Earwaker, who is here today to accept the award on behalf of the Farnham Town Council team. Thank you, Alan. I'm absolutely thrilled that Farnham has won this amazing accolade as Council of the Year. Thank you to everyone that voted for Farnham. We really appreciate your support. I'm incredibly proud of all the staff team for what they do and in particular everything they've done to support the community during the pandemic with innovation, creativity and commitment under the leadership of the town club. This is an award which is very much underpinned by our wonderful volunteers, our councillors and partner organisations. Without them, we could not have supported our community as effectively or achieved as much. They provide the strength and the passion to make Farnham a wonderful place and we are truly grateful for their efforts and the work that continues. Thank you NALC and the judging panel for what you do to develop and promote the sector so we can improve the lives of our residents. I know that all councils in our sector do tremendous work for our communities and I should like to commend all the finalists as we learn from each other and share best practice. That brings us to the end of this year's online Star Council Awards. Congratulations to all our finalists and of course to our winners. All finalists will be receiving a certificate to commend you for your excellent work and the winners of each category can expect a trophy too. You should all be very proud of your achievements so well done again. A big thank you goes to all of you who've joined to celebrate today. And if you'd like to read more about the nominees and winners, then please go to the Star Council Awards page on the NALC website, www.nalc.gov.uk. Thank you also to our judges and to our sponsors, without whom this event would simply not be possible. And a special thanks goes to our headline sponsor, BHIB Council's Insurance, to EFX for making the trophies, and to Aztec Events for helping us to put this online awards ceremony together. 
We hope these awards have inspired you to continue to do great things in your councils and communities, and of course, to nominate for the awards in 2022. Take great care and thank you for watching.